Hi guys, Ace Face here, back with another video for you, and today is the next part in my Hero Jewel series. Um, and this guy is 90% done now, um, so I'm hoping to do a bit of a showcase video on him coming up, um, once I've just got the last few bits and pieces on him. So, the Rippers still need painting, um, which... See, so you can see him there, um, and I need to do the, the blood on his teeth. But I'm going to do a tutorial on that, um, so that's to come. But other than that, he's more or less done. So, really, really pleased with how he's came out. The majority of this was done in a uh, live hangout, which was cool, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, and this is part of um, Mike Scott's Feast Fest for July so I'll put a link to his channel please do jump over give him a sub and check out his Tyranid based videos so that's that guy as I said really really pleased with how he's coming on awesome model fantastic now what I want to just give you a quick preview of now is my next kind of project and this is quite an ambitious one um, got a bit of time on my hands this week so I thought I'd try and do something pretty crazy and I thought I would try and get the Skyblight formation done in a week um, so the Skyblight formation if you haven't um, if you haven't known or haven't read the uh, the expansion is um, a Hive Tyrant two Harpies one Crone and three units of ten uh, Gargoyles so that's what I'm going to be basically trying to paint but I'm going to go a little bit further than that because I've not painted any of my gargoyles um, so I'm going to do 50 gargoyles and I'm going to do a hive tyrant that's half done already and then I'm going to do a hive crone and two harpies and I'm going to try and do all this in a week so quite ambitious but um, we'll give it a go so it's Sunday today and I've already made a start, so let's have a quick look at what I've done. So I've actually managed to complete, in a couple of hours, a whole brood of ten gargoyles. Um, so, and this is one of the reasons why I've kind of decided to go ahead with it, because I kind of, this was my test. If I couldn't do these well, and I wasn't happy with how they came out, then I wouldn't have got ahead with a challenge. But actually, fairly straightforward, um, and really happy with how they came out. So I've pretty much done them all with a heavy dry brush, um, using that both on the blue, the grey, and the green. Um, and that is pretty quick process but actually I'm really, really happy with the level of detail and the standard that they come out so as you can kind of see them all there really, really pleased so all of my gargoyles will be done in that technique and hopefully that will give me the finish that I want and look pretty cool and be able to get them done quickly so this was the aforementioned Hive Tyrant as you would have seen in the previous video and um, it's about half halfway done his wings are all done I've put down a few first layers but still a bit of work to do on him or quite a lot of work to do on him to get him finished and then I have I had some gargoyles that I got uh, from a friend that were already stuck to bases so I've primed them and they're kind of ready for the next stage of painting um, so a hell of a lot of work to start to do but actually this has given me the um, the kind of the, the push that I need seeing that I can do these relatively quickly um, so I'm really really excited about this week it's gonna be a real stretch challenge for me so we'll see how we get on lots of videos on it lots of live hangouts hopefully um, and until the next video I'll see you soon bye for now